Hey guys, happy Friday! It is Friday. We got a new Mickey statue at work, so that is what the pictures were from. A couple of pictures, me and a coworker with my big boss, Mickey. Um, so today I have had, what have I had so far? Coffee, I had only just a couple sips, so I usually do about four tablespoons of half and half, regular half and half for four smart points, but I really didn't drink that much, so I'm gonna count one point for the coffee. And then I had about four apple slices. <laughs> they were good. Um, I'm actually going to an early lunch today, so I am hungry right now, but I'm gonna be eating at noon, which is like weird for me, like totally weird, but that's okay because I'm hungry. So I'm going to a place called Base Camp um, in Burbank and I'm super excited because I've never been there and it looks like a totally rad place. So my suggestion and my rule for myself is always to look up the menu before I go to a new place so that I can kind of see what might be in my points range and plan what I'm gonna have so I don't get there and not no, um, and not have any kind of idea about the points. So they have a couple things that look really interesting. First of all, they have a lavender latte. Uh, that sounds so good, but I'm a huge fan of lavender macarons and rose macarons, so a lavender latte sounds amazing to me. But apparently, so a lavender latte is good for, it's, lavender is calming, it's an, an, Anxiolytic? What the heck does that mean? Anxiolytic? A-N-X-I-O-L-Y-T-I-C. I gotta look that up. Um, calming, anxiolytic, pain relief, sleep aid, <laughs> mood stabilizing. Oh, I need the mood stabilizer for sure. So anyway, that kind of sounds good. They have a lavender latte. They also have a turmeric latte, um, a charcoal latte, bulletproof latte, beetroot latte, and a matcha latte. Very, very interesting. I think I will try the lavender latte. So that, of course, is going to be a sweetened syrup. Um, so I will probably count, depending on how large it is, I think, don't they, like at Starbucks, they usually put like four pumps of, of sweetener in, and I would guess about one point per pump. So I'm gonna count four points for the lavender latte. And then they have some amazing, amazing sounding wraps and sandwiches. They have burgers, but so the salads sound so good. First of all, doesn't a chicken and waffle wrap sound amazing? You know, it's a, it's fried chicken served in a waffle cone. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I'm not getting that. Here is the salad. I'm gonna, okay, they have a buffalo chicken salad. That sounds so good. That's what I almost went to Buffalo Wild Wings for the other day. That sounds super good. Um, they have Southwest chicken salad, barbecue chicken salad, Cobb salad, grilled tofu and rice noodle salad. That sounds good. Um, organic spinach strawberry salad, Asian sesame salad, Caesar salad, Caprese salad. Ooh, that sounds good. Base Camp chopped salad and couscous vegetable salad, but the salad that I'm going to get sounds amazing. Coconut chicken salad. Grilled breast of chicken rolled in coconut, romaine, orange, cranberry, tomato, cream cheese, almonds, house citrus salad dressing. <gasps> that sounds so good. Of course, I'm gonna do no dressing. Um, I find that with a really good salad with a lot of ingredients and a lot of sub substance and a lot of flavors going on, you really don't need the dressing or I don't need the dressing, so I'm not gonna do any dressing. So what I'll count for is the coconut. Um, I don't know how much coconut will be um, on the chicken. So probably I'll count like one point for the coconut and then romaine, orange, cranberry. If they're cranberries, dried cranberries, then I will count a point for those. The cream cheese, I will count a point for, I don't even know. How do you put cream cheese on a salad? That's kind of boggling my mind. Um, almonds, I'll count a point for. Um, so the cream cheese, uh, depending on how much, I'll count two points. Um, so we got the coconut, the cranberries, the almonds, and the cream cheese. So that's gonna be three, five points. So five points for the salad and four points for the latte. Bam! That's what I'm having for lunch today. I will take pictures and show you guys what it looks like. I'm super excited. I love trying new restaurants and this one just actually sounds amazing. 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 
You guys, lunch was delicious. That was such a good salad. I've never heard of coconut chicken, but it tastes just like the coconut shrimp that you get um, some places. It's so, so good, except it's coconut chicken. Anyway, very, very good. I had this afternoon also some applesauce, unsweetened applesauce for zero smart points. It is 526, I'm headed to class. I have a test tonight. Ah! <laughs> this is the first test in like 25 years, so I'm kinda sorta like stressed. <laughs> I studied as much as I could. No, that's a lie. I could have studied a lot more, a lot more. But I did what I could given my time constraints and um, I've absorbed as much as I can possibly absorb at this moment. So cross your fingers, wish me luck, here I go. That test was the easiest thing ever. I was stressing so hard for nothing, <laughs> oh my gosh. So there were two parts to the test. One part was vocabulary only and we had to do that part by ourselves. I literally looked at and studied the vocabulary right before I left to go to class. <laughs> so it was totally fresh in my mind. I knew what was going on. I knew, I knew it. I knew the answers like super fast and I was the first one done to hand in the vocabulary part. Then the second part of the test was about two thirds multiple choice and one third short answers. Um, but <laughs> that part we could work with people the entire rest of the class. We could work with whoever we wanted. So we had this big collaboration going on and um, I'm really thankful that we were allowed to do that because there were a couple of answers that I was kind of like on the fence about or that I would have answered differently than somebody else. So it was, it was so much fun. How can I have fun doing a paralegal test? That was really, really fun. And if I don't get a good grade, I'm gonna be super, super shocked. Okay, so I'm going home to have dinner. I'm having salad, cause salad just sounds rad. Like I have had, I had salad last night for dinner. I had salmon salad. I had salad at lunch today. I had chicken salad. And tonight I'm gonna go home and have some more chicken salad. Only it's just not gonna have coconut on it. It just sounds good. So I am literally going to count, I'll probably have dressing. Because otherwise it will be like totally zero points. So I will probably have dressing and um, I think I'm gonna have a bag of chips, <laughs> WW chips also. So I'm gonna count probably, um, what kind of dressing do I have? I'm gonna, um, I don't know, maybe I don't have any dressing to have. Okay, so I may have a zero point salad <laughs> and that's okay too. And then I'm gonna have two points worth of WW sea salt hummus chips. Yeah, oh my gosh, that was so much fun you guys. How can I? How can school be so much fun? I love it.